All right, so we just got here to Sarasota Payne Skate Park, and we have a video planned today. It came out of nowhere. But let me just start by saying this. There are 7.8 billion people in the world, and we have somebody here today that is so talented at what they do, and it might be one of the most rare talents in all of the world. Mimo Sadler is, I think, I think it's safe to say that he is the best extreme unicycle rider. I mean, we're talking about somebody who rides rails, goes off of ledges, gaps downstairs. The dude is so talented. And me and Maddie have been following him for years. Maddie was like showing me like videos of him a long time ago. I mean, like this had to be at least like three years ago though, yeah, when no, you first really started showing us. We've been following him ever since. Yeah. It's like, and he, it's, he popped up and he's like, we saw a clip riding this skate park and this is about an hour from me, literally like an hour and a half or whatever. I was like, Scott, you will not believe this. Mimo is an hour and a half away. So I hit him up and he's like, I'll be here for two months or whatever. I was like, dude, I was like, let's ride. And then today is the day I feel like I'm about to watch like the Tony Hawk of unicycling. Oh, there's no doubt about life. it. As we're getting here to the skate park, we just met him in the parking lot. I just want to say the dude is about, Six six, Seven like he's got the biggest least. unicycle I've ever seen in my life. I think it's like pretty much to the here. Seat, seat is like yeah, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. But the dude's from Germany, okay? He knows really good English. We're gonna be talking to him today, and he's also going to be riding. And uh, I don't even know what to expect at this point. But as we were rolling in here, he was already riding, and there's a couple like local skateboarders that were just their jaws were just dropped <laughs> on there, and we're like, "Do you know who that is? That's Mimo Sealer." He's like, "Dude, I follow him on Instagram. He's right I knew it. it. Yeah, so, this is gonna be so much fun." Let's go talk to him. The height difference is Yeah, the height difference is epic. on the word here, man. Like, I'm 6'2", by the way. So like, you, you do the math. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just imagine if I had to jump on this thing. It's like, right? have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. I can lower the seat. <laughs> don't. Please don't. <laughs> please don't lower the seat. for anybody here. All right, so, but listen, this is Mimo Siedler. Uh, Mimo, Hello. you're from Germany. Where are you from in Germany? Uh, like, it's two, two hours from Berlin. It's okay. like in, called Leipzig. Is, city. is there a lot of skate parks in that area? Uh, yeah, we recently got a pretty nice one. Uh -huh. I'm really enjoying it. So let's start from the beginning. When did you start unicycling? I think uh, when I was about eight years old, I learned it. I got the unicycle from my dad and he knew how to ride it. So he was into unicycling? like Not as much as me, but he knew how to ride it okay. and got me into it. And then I found out about it, saw some videos on YouTube about wow. like, so the you beginning of unicycling. So you found it on your own in a way. Like you, yeah. you kind of discovered it on your own. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, and when I learned it, I didn't even know there was something like street unicycling. I just discovered it later. Yeah. And then I tried to get my own style into it with like getting inspired by BMX riding. And, and the truth is, you're an awesome BMX rider too. Like how <laughs> did you balance BMX and unicycling? Like while you were like growing up, was it something like, oh, I'm, I'm bringing my unicycle and my BMX bike? Like was it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not BMX riding for that long yet, like for five years. So, I, so it was kind of relatively late then. Yeah. How yeah. old are you now? 23. You're 23. So I started pretty late for yeah. BMX, but from, from the body control I got from the unicycling, I kind of got so into was, it pretty quickly. Oh, that's cool. Because me, like, me and Maddie were talking about that. We were wondering like if there was any similarities like that you can carry over from unicycling to what I definitely definitely carried over was like the crank arm tricks uh -huh. it's like all I do on unicycling when I crank it's like crank arms yeah so I learned crank arms on the BMX before I had my own BMX actually. yeah that's that's amazing because like when we saw like we found you doing unicycling first and then we saw that like you want to BMX like we're like he's really good like really <laughs> technical like on rails do you you Kill it. Like it's awesome Excited to, to see, some stuff, yeah. yeah. So you brought your BMX bike here today yeah. too, which is which is really cool. But I always right. bring my BMX. Like. So it's like something that you love. You're into like it's unicycle and BMX. Yeah, usually I put my unicycle on the handlebars like that, and then I, <laughs> and I ride through the streets, stop at spots, do something yeah. on the unicycle, then do something on the BMX. Usually I film like my unicycle part and parallel also the BMX part. Wow, that's if so I feel cool. Like, but I try to not risk it too much on the BMX because. Unicycling is my main thing. Yeah, that's like your main thing. So so let's talk about like the unicycle community. You know, like you go to world championships for unicycling. Yeah. Like what's that like when you show up at events like that that are that big? Yeah, it's like a small community. Everyone knows everyone. and So it's like a bunch of friends getting together in a yeah, way? Like you guys. Basically. So the world championships, like you look forward to that every year? Like you excited to go there and compete? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've, I didn't didn't miss one since my first one in 2012. That's cool. <laughs> so, 
I, I hope I can make it this time because my schedule is pretty yeah, full now. Yeah. So I try to get to the World Championship. Well, and that's because of what you're actually doing here in Florida right now, right? Like yeah. Because you have a pretty busy year potentially coming up. So why are you down here in Florida? Yeah, I just got here. It's my first time in America, in the US oh, wow. actually. So I got here to uh, yeah perform with Ringling Bros. And yeah, we're going to do like a show part in the whole circus that's more like BMX and street orientated cool. so that's, that's they're gonna be awesome. BMX riders and it's me as a unicyclist a fly bike rider so when does the tour officially start it should uh, end of September we, we start yeah so there if anybody is out there and you see Ringling Brothers like come into your town yeah, like... there's definitely the tour plan online already so you can check out oh, cool and if you go to a show you can definitely see me yeah, so we'll put it, the link in there so you guys can check it out because uh, I think after you see today's video, you're going to completely understand and you're going to be wanting to see it in person. Well, it's been awesome talking to you and learning yeah. about what you do and I'm just excited to watch you uh, do your thing today. So let's have some fun. Good to meet you. Yeah, really nice to meet yeah, you let's... as well. Oh, that's on the, the crank bolt. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I just so, saw. Let me just explain right now. We were just talking. Me and Maddie have a million questions. He's probably so sick of like, get asking out of him here. all these questions. What <laughs> right? the hard part of this trick is? Yeah, that looks crazy. It's like training here. So what's that so called? The only balance point I have is this. And I have no connection with my feet. So what's that? What do you call that one? Hard slide. Because it's, I would say it's the hardest climb on the unit. Hard slide. Crazy. All right, so we're gonna get the hard slide right here on this big rail, just like that. Oh! <laughs> so can you show us uh, the other grinds that you would do, uh, well, the other types of them? You know, because we didn't film those didn't at all. Film the, the other grinds, yeah. Wow! Dude, that one was butter. That was so good, dude. That's a huge hop. That's insane. I didn't think you were, that would look way too easy. It, it really did. Really good. Out of way, back foot. Okay, back foot. What? Oh, that wow, wow, that's cool. No way. So are those the three main Ooh. grinds then? Front foot, back foot, and the hard? That's slide, then you can do like switch foot grinds. So it would be the same thing, but switch pretty much, right? Yeah, it would be. I usually do them like with a half and tee in. Oh, you like half so. pedal into it. So if you watch, oh, yeah, and he pedals out of it too. Well, he's left foot forward on everything that he does. So Maddie had a really good question. Go ahead, Matt. Well, basically, a, a unicycle is like a fixed gear. You can't, you can't, yeah, yeah, cause ratchet back like a BMX bike. So I was asking Mimo if like you have to preset when you come up to a rail so that at this point you want to leave with your front foot, your or your left foot for him. Yeah. Do you have to wind up? the unicycle to see your distance from that's, how far that's the hardest part to make like unicycling look stylish because like especially if you're doing like a up. run i've seen you do runs too, yeah, yeah so and if, like if i do a big, big rail like that i take my runner <laughs> then i <laughs> so okay. step down Yo. Woo oh, wow. is that what you try to rail ride <laughs> That's crazy. It's so hot here. All this wax is like oh, yeah. and you can't really do good wear Yo, last time we were here, I got victimized in that bowl, by the way. The bowl over there, I went to go do a little tire slide drop in. Oh, yeah. And my back wheel literally went like Just a, on the coping itself. Yeah. Flew me over. In. I went straight to my, my, my shoulder. I was you sitting there and I was like, dude, from like the wax is yeah. so melted on it. They're like, yes. Wow. Don't, I don't need to see that. Yeah, like, this on, flat rail. I got another recrine trick. We call it the swivel. <laughs> The swivel. swivel, okay. Let's see what I'm talking about. Oh! So that was, he, he landed basically front pedal on and did a backwards ET in the grind. While it's happening. Yeah. Whoa. So he spun the whole way around. Yeah. He was like, actually drops down as he does. Dang. That's amazing. What was like your first thing? like? Do you start like, like hopping on a ledge with like the pedal? Is that like yeah, like would that be the how first did you first get into trick, like guess? freestyle? Pretty much, like, like I mean, first I started learning some flat tricks, of course, uh -huh. get comfortable on the unicycle. Like that, that that will take some time to get comfortable with the unicycle. Yeah, of course. Of course, and yeah, then maybe uh, one eighty twist on flat. 
so the fakey stuff like that that's that just feels <laughs> just like riding forward. yeah like is it then easy trick is also the et yeah that look pretty good and do you do et's feetless footless you mean crank flip? it's crank flip. whoa that wow. was cool <laughs> he goes do you mean crank flip? double Sure. Oh yeah, that was cool. I'll, I'll triple. Triple. No. no. What? <laughs> that was cool. That was so big. That was. He said or triple. <laughs> and it was like <laughs> Brandon's in the back, just like he it's just like can't a believe it. Matchbox. You like wind it up and. <laughs> so what about the? If you were gonna do like a bar spin equivalent unicycle of a spin. unicycle, is that called? What would you call that? Unispin. Unispin. Uni okay. Easy. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what like we expected. Yeah. So, uh, you can do a unispin. Just like that. That was the other way. Do you ever do half ones? Uh, Is that weird? Or yeah, the, it's, it's like the step before, but I don't do them because I don't like. Because then you're backwards <laughs> on it, right? <laughs> yeah, you didn't like go completely on it. it. Yeah. Dang. So, that's like the basic. And when I do my spin tricks and you see them in my videos, I usually. I had a crank flip to it. Oh, that's cool. So we call it tray flip. It's a tray flip. No, that's a tray flip. Oh, it's <laughs> amazing. It's, it's better to comprehend now that I can see it. Yeah, first. when you see it in person, like especially just understanding how it works. I mean, and, now I get what's going on, but like from yeah. video, it literally just looks like fireworks. You have yeah. no, all you know is it looks cool. But you don't know what is true, going on true. in it, you know? Like, or how long it takes. Yeah, you don't understand the skill level until you see it in person. But pretty much everything's first try. So, so I have a question for you. Uh, Trick-wise, I mean, we saw a couple like flat tricks. We saw the rail tricks. Is there stuff that we, like you would do across a ledge? Like as if, as if like if you were going to do like a 180 on a BMX bike and go fakie across it. Do you do combinations like that? Like, you know, like a fakie would continue a trick for a BMX bike. A manual oh. continues a trick. Like what is the unicycle versions of that? Of a manual? Like, yeah, of like... Uh, like of course I can do fakies to combine my tricks, uh -huh. my lines. Is that is that common? You do that yeah, a yeah. good amount? And I can throw one. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> wow, over that rail. <laughs> did you know that rail? Yeah, did you? <laughs> I, I knew I had to turn a bit. <laughs> wow, get the right that rail. I was like, I don't know if he knows. Yeah, that I was like, <laughs> oh man, what did we set him up for? <laughs> Big half cab. So. Can we talk about the uh, what you we would the, call it would the be manual a, equivalent? Yeah. yeah. So would that be the hang five, the, like version of it? Hang five. Like I put my foot on the frame. That's why the frame is not looking like a BMX ball. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and I basically go to my pads. Just like Dude. that. That is so crazy. And that looks easy. It I does. Mean, the balance on that looks easy. It, it's nuts to me. It really it's is. Not. Like we really have to get those consistent. So that took a while to figure out. Yeah, because the hard part is the tire is so close to my standing point to not touch the tire, uh, the tire with jumping. Oh in, yeah. Know? To not touch the tire is the hardest. Part. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't even thought about that. And you Dang, do foot jam cool. and like foot jam stuff too. Like, because what what'd you do over there? You did. Uh, oh yeah, the stuff like on the bank where you do the, the tap to Back. it. Oh, that's cool. Would you be able to demonstrate like a sort of line for us, like of connecting tricks? I think that'd be really cool to see. I yeah, think yeah. the viewers would be pretty, especially all the like street BMX people that are watching. Like, I think they'll be pretty amped up to see how you combine. Like, as as like, and, like this is an edit Maddie, clip. Like, follow I'll yeah, follow you wherever. So sick, dude. Downside whip. <laughs> the wall ride is so cool. Oh, pocket wall. <laughs> what? Dude, that was huge. 
That's a big gap, too. All right, so I got the camera again right now. Maddie's on his BMX bike. Mimo is actually on his BMX bike. And uh, we're gonna film a couple clips for you right now. I'm really excited to show you how good of a BMX rider he is because he's really, really talented. He's really passionate about it as well. So uh, yeah, he's gonna do some stuff on this rail. Oh! <laughs> Did that first hit. That's your first trick on the video. I am so shocked right now. Honestly blown away. I had no idea what he was doing. That was insane. All right, so he's eyeing up something. I have no idea what he's gonna be doing right now, but super excited about it. Yo! Oh my god. That was so good. No! No way! Guys, this is a serious down rail for a skate park setup. Alright, now I got a better angle of it. Yo! He's dropping in on that? What? Jesus Christ. That was so crazy, dude. Oh my god! That clip. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? <laughs> so cool, though. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, yo, you look so small up there. What? No way, you just did that. I feel like you're playing up. That's so sick. That's so crazy, dude. Dude, I, I'm, I can't even handle it. Cause like, he's better than I expected him to be. Like, I know he's really talented. I've seen all the video stuff that he's done, but like seeing it in person and just seeing how he just adapts and how creative he is, that's been the coolest part about today. Like, it's been an honor, man. It really has. It's, it's been a special session to say the least. Like, I'm, I'm just glad I got to witness it, man. I really am. Like, you know, and especially the BMX stuff too. That was awesome. Like, oh my god! Like, I just can't. I've never seen anybody do those hard of tricks back to back, and like, you know, that's his second passion. Like, which is nuts, man. So, awesome to see, man. We're 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 pulling for you, man. I'm excited to see what unicycling for you looks like in the next couple of years. <laughs> really awesome. All right, so Mimo's gonna do one final trick for us right now. Maddie's actually filming it for Mimo's Instagram, which you guys should all go follow and check it out right now. Look at this, though. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was so good. Dude, that was a s unbelievable, man. I am just blown away. That was so cool. I'm done for today. <laughs> make sure you go follow him on Instagram right now. And make sure you go and check out his newest video called Maybe. It's blow your mind. It's a bunch of street clips that are just ridiculous. Dude, it's yeah. been a complete honor, man. I hope you have an awesome time down here in Florida and enjoy your uh, journey, man. If you're ever down here, you call us and let us know. We got a place for you to stay, all right? <laughs> but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.